What's going on, everybody? I am back. I am back. I am back. Woo! I am back. All right. Now, the topic today is... Oh, I got these uh, new uh, leg sleeves in. Uh, they're powerlifting leg sleeves from... Uh, um, from Slingshot, um, Mark Bell. So, uh, these are pretty good. These are pretty tough uh, leg sleeves. They cost a little bit of money, but overall, you know, you got to protect what you got, so... Um, but anyway, the topic today is, is Rob Terry natural or is he on something? Now the, now the reason why I'm making this video is for a couple reasons. I saw the, um, the general generation iron, um, you know, natural and unnatural show, um, you know, documentary and the one thing it pissed me off the most is he denies he denies he's never he never wanted to cross that line and, and take drugs and um so and it's almost like watching oj talking about he never killed anybody i never want to cross the line <laughs> i love the critics <laughs> i love the critics you know when they tell me i'm 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 on something or am I on or not on something? Now, first of all, let me tell you the story about Rob Terry. Uh, in 2008, I was at the Las Vegas um, Fitness Expo. And I don't know him. I never went up to him. But I kind of recognize his haircut because he's have, he had the same haircut for so many years now. Look, I, you know, I, I kind of noticed him at the, at the expo because he was walking around and stuff. And... Um, and then uh, later on, I saw him, he was a professional wrestler, not a really good one, but he was a, pro a professional wrestler, and he was like the steroid, you know, um, you know, freak show uh, thing, and then like two years later, I see him compete at the Natural, natural Olympia and win it. I've competed at the natural uh, shows and stuff, I think they're a lot better than the NPC. NPC is a, just a clusterfuck uh organization and um in uh the natural organization they're they give out really nice trophies and this and that but the thing is on their websites is saying okay you know you can you can compete here you know but it says five years you have to be five years clean so i see him wrestle and then two years later he wins the fucking natural olympia and um they're like, well, you know, we, we drug test and this and that. Okay, let's talk about drug testing. Why is steroids so controversial? Because steroids are something, it works way too fucking well. And now, the nat not to take away anything from the natural uh, testing and blood testing and the lie detector tests and stuff, it's all Mickey Mouse, tell you the damn truth. And it's okay to be Mickey Mouse. Because let's do the testing what the NFL does. Let's do the testing what Dana White does with the USC fighters. If you got guys natural and guys on steroids in the USC or boxing or any badass fucking sport out there, you're going to have dead bodies out there. One guy's going to be on some creatine and some can-do attitude and some other guy's on the sauce. You know, it's like, you know, double the strength, double the durance double everything that's that's why people want to get on it you know you know you know it takes years and years and years to get you know really good at weightlifting so it will speed up the process that's the bottom line of what the drugs do so of course they would have um dana white has um this um uh a separate party of uh testing and some of the fighters are getting um they're getting busted by vitamins in, in uh, their supplements. That's how good the shit, you know, they test for uh, picograms and, if you know, and, and you know, um, if the, um, you know, supplements have one little ingredient, uh, ingredient in it, you know, kind of controversial to their uh, protocols and stuff, they have to test. But, you know... For the natural Olympia and the natural shows, it's only a bunch of guys up there standing up there and flexing. So, you know, you know, their testing doesn't have to be that fucking good. But 
the one thing about bodybuilding, and I had a hero and a, a, a good, a, a decent friend, Gunter Sherkamp, Kim Lyons. Gunter Sherkamp should have won the Mr. Olympia. And he's um, down in Los Angeles. Look him up. If you don't know him, you should know him. And if you don't know him, you don't know shit about bodybuilding. Gunter Sherkamp should have won the Mr. Olympia. But he got fifth place and all this controversial and Ronnie Coleman. But only a month later, um, they compete. And he, he beat, he, he's the only one who beat Ronnie Coleman in his fucking prime. So... One thing I've learned, and, and he will agree, the camera does not lie. You can have all the bullshit judges out there. You can have all the testing and stuff. But guess what? I got screwed out a couple bodybuilding shows. It doesn't matter. I got enough fucking trophies here. But um, it's like the camera never lies in bodybuilding. So, you know, if someone beats me or someone beats someone else in bodybuilding, you know, um, it doesn't matter because... When they go home and take the pictures and, and hang it up on the wall and they know they have that guy right next to them who's better than them, that they will not be. They already know. But the one thing I'm going to tell everybody on TV land here is everybody in this world is desperate to be a fucking champion. So Rob Terry is desperate to be a champion. He didn't make it in bodybuilding when he was on the sauce. He didn't make it in body. Um, well, he did make it on a um, TNA was a pretty uh, high quality wrestling show, but he didn't make it in the WWF. So or WWE, whatever you want to call it, Vince's shit. So and so the one thing I noticed the older I get in you know competing and everything everybody wants to be a Connor everybody wants to do the million dollar strut Connor McGrath you know everybody wants to be champ champ everybody in this world wants to be champ champ so it doesn't matter how they get it done they just they just want to be a champ I've seen in bodybuilding shows ladies and gentlemen I've been to bodybuilding shows the teenager, the teenager class. All right, you got the teenagers and you got the class. You got, you got, you got guys in there who are twenty years old competing with the sixteen-year-olds, the fifteen-year-olds, the eighteen-year-olds. Yeah, you know, twenty years old, you're still a, you're still a young pup, but you're not a teen class. They lie about their uh, age or something, you know. I've seen that, and 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 when they beat a um, they beat a younger person who's in the teen class, and uh, you know they they'll raise the trophy up and be so uh, happy about it and stuff, you know. But you're you're cheating, and the one thing I have to say about Rob Terry, how you know, um, um, the one thing I have to say about Rob Terry is my friend. And he said, you know, you'll see him in interviews kicking back. Oh, I love, I love the people who uh, talk negative and hate me. I love the controversial. My friend, all you are, you're not a champion. You have been on the sauce. Well, how do you know I'm on the sauce? Look at your wrestling career. I've seen you in 2008 at an expo. Yeah, you're a big guy, you know. But, you know, um, you know, you, we can pick and part, um, we can pick and part, you know, everybody, uh, group on everybody in this world. But, but anyway, um, I just want to say, Rob Terry, you're not a champion. You're a cheater. You're a fucking cheater. And I think you are a trophy whore. And um, he says, you know, you'll see him in interviews. I want to do this for another 10 years. You got away with it. And the one fucked up thing about the whole thing is he, he says he wants to be a champion for so long. He wants to be the rainy long champion. You got away with it. Give it to someone else. It's fucked up. I would be so fucking pissed off if I worked my ass off, did everything right. And, um, and I got second place and you got that trophy, six foot trophy whore trying to, be, uh, come in there every year and, um, and take my fucking trophy. Hey, this world's getting crazy. I wouldn't be shocked if the second place guy just knocks him on his ass on stage. I'm just saying, 
I don't, I don't um, recommend that. It's kind of trashy, you know, but I understand. But, um, you know, I would say to Rob, I say, you know what? You, you, you got away with it. Give it to someone else. Don't be selfish, um, you know. Um, and, you know, the funny thing is, does he have a good looking body? Yeah, he's fairly decent, you know, beyond beyond the average guy. But the thing is, you know, you fucked yourself in the wrestling business. I mean, go look up his wrestling pictures and now look at him. Yeah, he's watered down. But guess what? Guess what you can do when you're on the sauce for 10, 12 years. And I always make I always make jokes when he's when he does his creatine commercials. Oh, I, I, I take this creatine to uh, do my uh, uh, bodybuilding and working out and this and that. I'm like, yeah, 12 years of steroids and two years of creatine. Yeah, okay. But the thing is, if you're on that stuff for the long period of time and if he's taking medical grade stuff, really high quality stuff, look at Jay Cutler. You ever saw Jay Cutler now? You ever saw Jay Cutler signing autographs at some expo and stuff? He's wearing a tank top. Okay, Jay Cutler's been you know, taking drugs and this and that for so, so period of time now, but he's maintaining most of it. Yeah. If you can maintain it with food and some uh, creatine and, you know, so, so you're saying Rob Terry right now is his whole entire life, his whole entire life. He never wanted to cross that line and shove syringes up his ass. Okay. Let's go with this stupid retarded idea. All right. Um, so you're telling me his physique is just a bunch of protein shakes, creatine, and some can-do attitude. Give me a fucking break. But I, I blame the organization a little bit because, I mean, are you that fucking deluded? You know, um, it, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous how you can get a, you know, you, you try to promote natural bodybuilding. And you got this kind of, you know, I wouldn't say celebrity, but you got this guy who's obvious. He was at another professional sport coming in. And, and um, you know, yeah, he's watered down you know, a lot more smaller than he is. But, you know, I don't count that as natural at all. So, you know, um, say, taking taking something to build up your physique and then, you know, you're you're a beyond the average population. And then two years later, you kind of get off the stuff and maintain it with food and creatine and whatever the crap he's taking now. And, you know, you're losing a lot of size. But... Give me a break. Natural Olympia, my God. What a joke. But everybody's desperate to be a champion, so I don't knock them that fucking hard. But, um, you know, you know, if I was him, I would just bow out, you know, uh, the next, uh, I guess, supposedly they're getting ready for the natural. I'll do it one more time, Robbie. And uh, just bow out and because it just makes you look like an ass. And, you know, uh, and a trophy whore. If you're going to plan to do this for the next, like, six or seven years and you're fucking other people who are natural and stuff. Um, I've seen the natural Olympia. I know some guys who are uh, more natural and stuff. And you're just taking you're just taking the trophy for them. That's kind of fucked up. So, but we all know the truth. So. All right, that's my rant today. If you like what you hear, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And you, if you want uh, an asshole to tell you the truth, and he, I'll keep on making videos and proving uh, stuff. Um, this is more a fitness channel. And um, so... If you want to hear the truth about a lot of things about the fitness world, I am here to educate. Sometimes I don't know everything, but I've been with this. The one thing I have to say is about fitness world is I know um, if you want me to do heart surgery, I, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you want some personal training tips and, and stuff like that, this is the channel for you. And uh, the only reason why I do these channels is because of Holly in Australia, the loudmouth Ozzy, the Dern writer. He is the man. If you want to lose weight, go look at his channel. That's a plug. And he didn't pay me to do it. But um, I know if I uh, 
went to Australia and hanged out with him. He would do a plug for me. So, all right. Um, you, you take care. Bye.